Well, good morning, YouTube. It's been a little while since we've done a full garden tour. It is the end of June. Can you believe that it's gone by that quickly? Let's go through and check out what is going on in the gardens. This is gonna be amazing. I, I, I look back at some of my old videos and some of my old pictures, and I am absolutely blown away at how far things have progressed. We've been super busy this year. The gardens are looking incredible. Let's take a look together and see how far they've come. Here is the king bed area. And um, it's in a bit of disarray. I have been super busy with some other things and kind of let this go a little too much, honestly. But you can see, y'all, we've got tomatoes, 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 tomatoes everywhere. This San Marano, it just... I was talking, uh, watching Bull the other day, and Bull was talking about how his San Marino loaded up, and this one is absolutely loaded. I'm really impressed with this um, Chadwick tomato. This Chadwick tomato continues to produce lots of, of medium or small clusters of salad tomatoes. Purple Russian, we have received a bunch of great tomatoes off this purple Russian. This is a good variety. I recommend the pur purple Russian variety of tomato, anybody that's interested in growing tomatoes. The onion that we planted back in December is a bit disappointing. Um, I've had a few decent onions, the yard tomatoes. I've had a few decent onions. I pulled these onions out and planted with peppers, replaced that with peppers uh just the other day and uh, it's coming along really nice I, I realize i do not like bucket gardening here in arkansas it just it the watering is too much here too much heat and humidity to grow anything really nice in buckets but and tomato bottle uh hoardy hue i'm sorry buddy but this will be the last time i ever do this Single seed challenge is coming along nicely. It's starting to get some fruits. You can see the little fruits there and it is running all over the place. I've got to get some water out of some of these. Squash, we've got squash everywhere and cucumbers. Next year I will plant some more cucumbers Peppers are coming in really nice. The jalapenos are doing terrific. We've got peppers everywhere. Um, a little experiment. Once I got the chickens out of this, it has done really well. But the chickens uh, set a bunch of these plants back quite a bit. That's just uh, cardboard laid down with the pallet on top of the cardboard. And then uh, some compost is mulched to keep the grass out. And then uh, I planted my melons in there to let them Buckets. run. And you can see we're starting to get some tomatoes here. Peppers, since I separated these peppers, one of these pepper plants is doing really well. The other that was so severely stunted is 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 still not doing terrific, but it's, it's doing okay. Y'all, we're getting ready to get some figs. Uh, it's really incredible the amount of, of growth and expansion that uh, everything is just sort of taken off since the heat has come. Everything is looking really good. Berries are beginning to run and set out new strawberry plants. This bed will be absolutely filled with strawberries very soon. Very successful experiment. Some of our sweet potato slips are starting to do their thing. Excited about that. Jerusalem artichokes, uh, they're over my head now. Uh, we're gonna have Jerusalem artichokes for many, many years to come. Tomatoes, uh, growing determinate or indeterminate tomatoes. I believe in the future, I may grow determinate tomatoes just to keep the size of the tomatoes more manageable. And um, these tomato cages, these cages are much better suited for peppers than tomatoes. Our lettuces are going to seed. We'll be collecting seed on those. We've got winter squash growing everywhere. I'm really excited about the pepper production. We've got some sort of virus running through our tomatoes now, not cool. I planted way too many squash, y'all. We've got squash for 
days coming out of these things. But um, melons, I think next year I'll plant more melons and fewer squashes. We would rather eat melon than squash. Asparagus, we started this asparagus from seed and um, it's doing really well. It's, it looks beautiful for this time of year. It's really falling out nicely. We've got some strawberries in this bed. So the yard garden, um, many of you will remember the accident I had with the tree that set my beans back. We've got quite a big gap in the beans now. Uh, most of the tomatoes survived even though they were knocked off the trellis. I like this trellising way of doing things. You can see we've got some more tomatoes that are coming in here. Tomatoes, I would much rather plant tomatoes than squash. We've just, we've got too many squashes. I think we counted, we've got almost 24 squashes and uh, that's just too much squash. Winter squash, we're excited about the winter squash. That's not a big deal. Corn is getting ready to come out. We've harvested most of that. And uh, the flower beds have done incredible this year. It's, um, oh, tomatoes. I, I love tomatoes. Y'all check this out. You see that? We are getting some blooms on our sunflowers, finally. Really super excited about that. The sunflower display is gonna be absolutely incredible. And uh, there's color everywhere, y'all. Uh, it's just relaxing when you come out and you see these splashes of color. Isn't that a beautiful sight? I'm really pleased with the way this flower bed turned out. Um, it turned out lovely, y'all. It's just, it's absolutely stunning, the amount of flowers. We've got some more late tomatoes here. And um, these tomatoes are doing excellent. Really, really excited about these black crims that we planted late in what, what I'm calling the purple garden. Uh, it's, it's doing really well over here. And uh, it's getting plenty of sun. They've got lots of good air circulation. They're spaced properly. One of the absolute things that I learned, and I should have known, I remembered, and I thought I did a good job on it, but I really didn't, is plant spacing. Uh, plant spacing is very important. And if you've got a small space and you try to cram a lot into that small space, I get it, I've done that in the past. But um, spacing is one of those things that is becoming more and more important as uh, as we move forward. Let's go check out the neighbor's garden. Many of you will remember me planting these sweet potatoes and the sweet potatoes are doing excellent. Uh, we got a pretty good rain here the other day and uh, those sweet potatoes are starting to run and do their thing. They'll be harvested in uh, <clears throat> mid to late August. The corn over here is doing okay. This is a Mexican dent corn and uh, it's a uh, heirloom. It's doing really good. We've got some, some other winter squash that we planted much later that's up and doing well. The rattlesnake beans, I will plant more and more rattlesnake beans for my green beans in the future. These things are tougher than nails and highly, highly productive. I really like the rattlesnake runner beans. I like runner beans because you get to uh, pick off the ground. You don't have to stoop over so far. The trellis work here, um, when we get high winds, it just, it, it jerks this bamboo around. Uh, it needs to be built more sturdy than this has been built. So that that's, I wouldn't say a failure, but it's a good learning experience. Finally getting some tomatoes that are coming ripe over here. Look at this one. Let's see. Is that going to be a good tomato? Nope. Mm. Hate that. It's a pretty little tomato but uh, they were pretty disease prone, pretty disease prone. And you can see that if you've got any soil deficiency whatsoever, these San Maranzos will absolutely show you, hey, we don't have enough of what we need to get things done. Um, but that, they're a good indicator tomato of what's going on with your soil. Um, yikes. There's a mess over here. These tomatoes, I have not spent enough time over here with um, these tomatoes and it's showing. 
some great tomatoes here and I'll probably lose most of them because of my neglect. I hate that. But anyway, corn, these big fields, corn is king. We're getting, e we're getting eggs. We're getting eggs every day. We get anywhere from three to five eggs a day. And, um, you know, that's, that's really important for food safety or food security. Eggs are a complete protein. The only thing an egg does not have that your body needs is vitamin C. <coughs> Since we're doing a garden tour, let's go over and check on the rabbits and see how they're doing. And then uh, we'll go from there. Y'all, I'm excited. The gardens are looking absolutely incredible. The bunnies have grown. I don't know if you can see him there, but he is getting big. She's huge. She'll be bred in July, and uh, possibly she'll be bred in July. But uh, they are getting great size, these baby bunnies that we got when they were four to six weeks old, and they are currently... Let's see, they were about a month old back in March, April, May, June. They're about five months old now, so yeah, really cool. And who could not love baby chicks, right? We love our baby chicks and chickens, and they are looking terrific. We are excited about these babies. They're beautiful. Some of them, uh, the partridge coloring on these chicks is going to be amazing. Well, that's it, y'all. Um, tripping over a stick. That is the uh, the garden tours for mid June, and uh, it just it's incredible what we've been able to grow. We started seeds um, for onions back in December, and that was mixed results of success. Um, I think that I would like to start them when they would grow a little more, like in October in the future. So that way uh, we can get some bigger transplant onions when they go out in the gardens. I made a lot of mistake with my onions this year, but um, I planted too much squash, not enough green beans. Uh, next year, we won't plant so many squash plants. We have squash running out of our ears. We've got like 25 squash plants and they are just uh, throwing squash and throwing squash. And we like squash, we eat squash almost every day. But uh, it's just, it's too much squash for us to keep up with. We're giving squash away. We're eating squash. We're putting squash away, and it's still too much. I, I just overdid it on the squash. Um, tomatoes, we've got some varieties that I won't grow again, and we've got some varieties that I absolutely will grow again. I do need to uh, to change the way I'm, I'm, I'm supporting some of those tomato plants. And that's something that we'll develop in the future. And then I've got some spacing issues that I'll talk about in a, in a later video that I think that you'll understand where I'm coming from. But that is our garden tour for this uh, June, this June update. Uh, thanks for stopping in. I hope that you enjoyed this quick tour of the garden. Be blessed and know that I love you.